Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2009. The given question is consider two transactions T1 and T2 and four schedulers S1, S2, S3 and S4. Okay, so now of T1 and T2 as shown below. Okay, and they are asking which of the above schedulers are conflict serializable. Okay, yes. Okay, so let us start. Okay, so let us start guys. So what is S1 here guys? So S1 is a nothing but it is having two things, right? So it is having T1 as well as a T2. Okay, so the first one is performed on 1. So read of X. So this is performed on second. That is read of X. So this is performed on second read of Y. This is performed on the first write of X. This is performed on first write of Y. This is performed on second. That is a right of Y. Okay. Yes. So is it a conflict serializable guys? So let us directly start drawing the graph. So T1, E2. Okay. So here we are performing read and here we are performing read. So read, read will never have issue. So no issue here. Here we are performing read. Here we are performing read. So this is an issue from T2 to T1. So this is done. This is done. This is done. So here we are performing right of X and this is right of Y. So no issue. This is right of Y. This is right of Y. Hence it is an issue. So T1 to T2. So hence it is a loop. So S1 is a not conflict serializable. So this is a wrong. Okay. So now moving on to S2. Okay. So when we are discussing about S2. So it is also having a T1 and T2. Okay. So first we are having a read of X. Okay. Then we are having in this read of X. Here we are having read of Y. Here we are having write of X. Here we are having write of Y. Here we are having write of Y. So here I have observed an issue with the T2 to T1. So let us draw it here. So T1, T2. So T2 to T1 is available the issue. So here we are having read of X. So here there is no X for now. Let us continue. So here there is read of X. Here there is issue. So already I have marked that. So this is done. So read of Y is done. So read of X, read of X. Okay. So that is the only arrow. So the serializability order will be T2 and T1. So S2 is possible guys. So the only answer which is left is a B guys. Got it? Yes. So we can conclude that B is the correct answer. But let me continue with S3 and S4 also. Right? Yes. So when it comes through S3, T1, T2, okay. So in S3, we are having R1, R of X, write of X, read of X, uh, write of Y, read of Y, write of Y. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now moving on, if you observe, here we are having read of X, but here X operation is read only. So no issue. Here write of X, here we are having read of X. So T1 to T2, there is an issue. Okay. So this is done. So here we are having read of X. So nothing is matching. So here we are having write of X. So done. So basically the, here the order is a T1 then a T2, right? Yes. So T2 is serializable. So I think B should be the most appropriate answer, right? Yes. So anyway, let us continue with S4 also. T1 and T2. Okay. So here we are having read of X. Here we are having read of Y. Here we are having read of X. Here we are having write of X. Here we are having write of Y. Here we are having write of Y. So here I have observed an issue. And when it comes to read of X, here we are having write of X. So here there is an issue. So indirectly this is a loop, right? Yes. So indirectly S4 is also not conflict serializable. So basically S2 and S3 are conflict serializable. Got it? Yes. So these questions are really easy, guys. The thing is draw, writing this and drawing the diagram is the only thing which the examiner wants, right? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Yes. yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.